Hello and welcome to Captain Career Videocast, a series of how-to videos and a lot more. I am Martin Buckland, a global executive career management practitioner. This series of videos is where I share my wealth of expertise and knowledge on executive career management to help you reach your career goals. Today we're gonna to be talking about four LinkedIn tips to raise your presence, be professional, and be found. Number one, you must have a professional, by that I mean professional photograph, not carrying a fish, cuddling your kids, cuddling your dog, a professional photograph in attire that you want to be recognized and that is totally professional. Why? Why should you have a photograph? Is because instantly you post a photograph on LinkedIn, Google in its algorithms, and bearing in mind it's constantly trawling the internet, Google in its algorithms will pick up your profile, your LinkedIn profile, give you a 1400, yeah, 1400% uplift in visits to your LinkedIn profile, and it's free. Plus, you are broadcasting yourself as being far more professional. We can actually see you then. Number two, customize your LinkedIn address. When you sign up for LinkedIn, they gave you a, 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 a default, and normally there are letters and numbers or a combination of both after your name. That's how I can tell you haven't customized your LinkedIn profile address. It takes you two minutes, but it brings you, again, tremendous value. As soon as you go and customize that LinkedIn address, Google, again, in its algorithm visits to your LinkedIn profile, will give you a 400, 400% uplift. So combine that with your photograph, which both take about two minutes to put on, you get an 1800% uplift for free on Google. And you want as many people to visit your LinkedIn profile as, you, uh, as possible. Because right now, somewhere in the world, an, an executive recruiter or HR professional or other decision maker is looking for talent like you. And you want to be number one. You want to come out number one in their searches. Number three. Join groups. This is what something that so many people miss out on. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of groups, some geography related, some trade and designation related, some industry related. You need to join groups, but don't just join a group and think, ah, oh, that's going to work for me. It doesn't. You need to introduce yourself to groups. So when you join a group, and don't join groups that are really in your trade, like a knitting group or a woodworking group. You need to join groups that are pertinent to you. As soon as you join a group, have in Microsoft Word an introduction about yourself, and then you cut, customize it and cut and paste that to that group, because there are people in those groups who may be influencers in your industry, in your designation, or your geography, who might be able to generate leads for you. If you are in career transition, tell them you're in career transition and even be as bold as to mention the company where you want to go and work because you never know. There might be somebody in that particular group who can introduce you to that somebody, a decision maker at that particular company, or they may be the decision maker themselves. And then you roll in. So never miss out on the opportunity of using groups. Don't just introduce yourself. Make comments because this allows you to market yourself as an expert within that group environment. And there are hundreds and thousands, if not millions, of different groups. So go to the search engine of groups and look for groups. You're allowed a maximum of 50. Number four, follow companies. 
You need to follow companies. If you were my client, my coaching client, I tell you, I want to see you follow 35 companies. And don't just pick any willy-nilly company. I need you to give me a reason why you want to go and work for DER company, XYZ company, or ABC company. So choose companies you may like their service offering. You may like their products. They have something that's going to latch them onto you. They may be going IPO, and you're an expert in IPO, or you want to be... I want to take advantage of the benefits, the financial benefits that go with IPO. So follow companies. The more the merrier, but you must all have a target list of companies you hold in high esteem where you've always wanted to go and work for. You like their culture, you like their service offering, you like their product offering. As a bonus, number five, I want to see you have recommendations. There are many profiles void of recommendations. Now, when somebody's looking at your profile and they're screening you for a potential interview or as a potential candidate, one of the red flags is you not having any recommendations. You need to have many, many recommendations on LinkedIn. How many? People will, are horrified when I say this, but you need to have five per job for the last four or five positions. And who would they be? Well, try and get one from your ex-boss, somebody or your boss. I know it's tough, but uh, especially if you're gainfully employed, then that might be impossible. But if from an ex-boss, that might be possible, or a retired boss. Try and get somebody lateral to you, somebody who works with you on the same level, one from an employee, one from a vendor slash supplier, and finally, one from a client customer. The more you get, the, the better it's going to be for you. But also give as well. Give recommendations. Don't just take. That's all about good, valuable networking. It will bring you value to give as well as take. I am passionate about helping you reach your career goals. I have an offer for you a free, no obligation, no sales pitch, resume critique, and yes, and a LinkedIn audit. However, I am realistic. I am tough. I say it as it is, because as you know, you only get one kick of the can here. So I want to remove all those red flags so you can have a bank of green flags. So when you come to career transition and executing a job search, you will move from A to B in the fastest possible way. Are you interested in my offer? If so, send your resume to an email via LinkedIn in the message bar there, or send it to the email in the message below, the block below. If you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe by pressing the button below. Also press the bell icon so you will be notified of all my future videos in the Captain Career series of how-to videos and a lot more. Cheers.